Welcome to the Brightmore neighborhood. It is located in the northwest Detroit area and it was established in the 1920s. It's located close to Telegraph Road, approximately five minutes or less from Redford. There are approximately 13,000 residents in the four square miles that the neighborhood occupies. However, most of our students do come from the outskirts of Brightmore. The demographics of the city is primarily black with an exception of 13% of other races. Its purpose was to house auto workers and World War II veterans in low-cost mass-produced houses. Through the recent years, Northwest Detroit Neighborhood Development Plan was established in the 1989 to help rebuild Brightmore. Brightmore has begun to build 231 new houses in the neighborhood, as well as renovate 23 units in different apartment complexes. 30 units were set aside for families with special needs, and the remaining houses were for homeowners. A few short steps from Gompers Elementary Middle School, there is Fire Station 57. This is one of the two fire stations located within the community. Throughout the year, firefighters offer lessons about fire safety for the students. While exploring the community we are interning in, we discovered urban farming called D-Town. It occupies seven acres of Rouge Park located on Outer Drive in Plymouth Road. Within this garden, they grow a variety of fruits and vegetables using organic, sustainable methods. They also have be beehives in order to help pollinate their crops and produce honey. In 2007, the last supermarket chain left the city, making the city a food desert. D-Town is known for using vacant land and available resources in the city in order to grow food and contribute to revitalizing the community. These gardens also are a resource for literacy and science because at each of the 11 learning stations you can read about the environment and what D-Town does for the community and farm. While visiting the D-Town farm, we learn that they will be holding their 8th annual Harvest Festival. The festival offers learn shops for both adults and children within the community. A literacy resource we found in the community was the Brightmore Farmway. This building provides a free library for the community in which people can donate and borrow books whenever they want. The Brightmore Community Center also offers many literacy resources including tutoring and many community events including a book giveaway that is coming up soon. Detroit Public Schools were established in 1842. The student population of DPS and charter schools in the area has a population of 122,000 students. The district budget for the 2011-2012 school year was $1.2 billion. Through the recent years, many public elementary schools were closed due to test scores, which made our school resemble a magnet school. We're at Gompers Elementary Middle School, which was recently built in 2011. It took $21.4 million to build this community-friendly school. Each morning, the whole school participates in the Pledge of Allegiance, School Pledge, and the School Song.
Today I pledge to be the best possible me. I believe that I can accomplish anything. I want to achieve. I come to school prepared to learn. I am responsible for my learning. I will listen to my teachers. I will follow directions. I will work hard. I will succeed. I am responsible for my behavior. I will have a positive attitude. I will respect myself and others. I will cooperate. I will be a good friend. Today I pledge to believe in me. Samuel Gompers Elementary Middle School's vision is to maintain a learning environment that fosters a sense of community, fairness, and nurturing. This environment consistently promotes active learning, values diverse perspectives, and exposes students to a variety of challenges. It prepares them to be responsible for their own actions while helping them develop a sense of responsibility and belonging in the global world. Samuel Gompers Elementary Middle School serves the city of Detroit. Home school community collaboration ensures that our students have the skills to become contributing members of a global society. Our school will successfully educate all students in a clean, safe, healthy environment. We will meet the needs of a whole child through the six developmental pathways, cognitive, intellectual, physical, social interactive, speech and language, moral, and psycho-emotional. Gomber's mission statement aligns with Paris's vision for culturally sustaining pedagogies. As stated by Paris, relevance and responsiveness do not guarantee in stance or meaning that one goal of an education program is to maintain heritage ways and to value cultural and linguistic sharing across difference, to sustain and support bi- and multilingualism and bi- and multiculturalism. The school's mission statement includes home, school, and community setting, allowing it to include not only Gomper students, but their families and important community members. Gompers maintains a daily attendance rate of approximately 94%. The student population maxed out at 1,094 students during the 2011-2012 school year and 873 students in 2012-2013. The demographics of Gompers from the 2013 school year are pictured. The majority of our school demographics are black, which factors to be 97.8%. The school is evenly split between males and females. All students in the school receive both free breakfast and lunch. Also, Skechers is donating a pair of shoes to each student that attends Gompers Elementary. Physical resources include audiobook sets, technology and book closet, computer lab, and available computers in classrooms. Aside from teachers, other human resources for literacy include Ms. Tillman and Mrs. Butler, Ms. Thomas, Ms. Williams, who is a reading recovery specialist, and Ms. Junior, the reading instructional specialist. Here is a pacing chart that is provided by the Language Arts Curriculum. Gompers Elementary Middle School has adopted the Imagine Reading Curriculum for the past two years. This is only one of the many literacy resources found in and around the school. Here are some pictures of our classrooms and some literacy resources available. 